be willing to let go of the life that we have planned so as to live the life that is waiting for us. Hello everyone, 12th A is here to give you some details about Sustainable Development Goals and COVID-19. Hello everyone, we all are here to discuss a crucial role and urgent agenda in the era of COVID-19 that has profound implications on our economy and environment and has transformed the world we live in. Yes, it's time to talk about Sustainable Development Goals. SDG 8, it promotes sustained, inclusive and sustainable development, full and productive employment and decent work for all. That is why we must make sure that financial programs create decent and fulfilling jobs while not harming the environment. SDG 12 promotes responsible consumption and production. Achieving economic growth and sustainable development requires that we urgently reduce our ecological footprints by changing the way we produce and consume goods and resources. This can help with food security and shift us towards a more resource efficient economy. Due to the coronavirus, a lot of opportunities are opened up in the IT industry, such as the need for the fifth generation technology. This will help us to increase in connections that will support the prime remote areas. The companies which are making ventilators, masks, sanitizers and other medical equipments are making huge profits. In COVID-19 is severely impacting manufacturing production in different countries because demand from high-income countries for manufacturing goods and raw material is decreasing. The whole world is facing the problem of coronavirus because of the lockdown. There is a great impact on the economy of each country. All the factories and industries are closed. Because of this reason, there is a great difference between the consumption and production. Day by day, all the economies are decreasing and it leads to huge losses. So here are the solutions to improve economic growth. Achieving high level of economic productivity through diversification, innovation and new technological way. And also adding high value thinking and creative thinking. Many countries have also adopted smart city solutions such as China, Australia and South Korea. Let us now talk about how the universal goals will help us understand the relation between this pandemic and the changes in the climate through the Sustainable Development Goals 13, 14 and 15. The month of May which usually records peak carbon emissions due to the decomposition of leaves has recorded what might be the lowest level of pollutants in the air since 2008 financial crisis. Further sources suggest that there has been a drop in energy usage and emissions in India. The Janta curfew resulted in a significant dip in air pollution levels, which was measured across the country. Majority of the cities saw their average air quality index staying within two digits. Increase in first medical days. Much of the personal protective equipment that healthcare professionals are using only be once before being disposed of. For example, hospital yarn produce 200 tons of waste every day. That is average of 50 tons. It has not only caused the disposal of plastic packaging but has further required more fossil fuels to be burned out for the transportation and distribution of goods. In short, COVID-19 is a temporary problem that will in time will go away. But climate change has been there for many years and will remain with us for decades and requires constant action. When the lockdowns are lifted and life returns to what it once was, so will the pollution that clouds the skies. And the greenhouse effects, they will cause global warming. In fact, this rebound could be even much more worse. So, to solve the problem of climate action, let us all take pledge to maintain the pollution-free environment by using less vehicles after lockdown also and decreasing the number of pollution-making units by working from home in whichever business possible. Overcome the stage we are in at this moment. We must concentrate on finding the new techniques for disposal of medical waste and limit the usage of plastic in packaging and online meal delivery platforms or in fact limit the usage of plastic as a whole by opting biodegradable substances as a medium of packaging. In short, the COVID-19 has affected the SDGs and the entire world in many 
positive and negative effects. So, in the remaining lockdown period, let us try to maintain the gained profits and try to get back the incurred losses which we have lost in the lockdown due to COVID-19. With this, the world will be back to its battle position and we all will be able to achieve our SDGs goals. So, stay home, stay safe and thank you from STS World School Commerce Department.